much now. You're all sweated up. That's enough. You don't want to get cramps, do you? Howdy, Velvet. Hi, Mr. Edie. My. He sure looks fine, Velvet. He's wonderful, Mr. Edie. I only wish I could breed him and get a colt like him. Well, what's stopping you? My says if he's bred, it might ruin him for racing. He might get wild and rank again. Oh, fiddlesticks. Matter of fact, he has been bred. He has? Yeah. Been meaning to tell you about it. A fellow named Reg Tolland over to Cornwall. Now, Reg had an old sorrel mare. She was a jumping horse from back east. Now, the mare died throwing the colt. But from what I hear, that little fellow fits the fiddle. How old is he? Well, now, let's see. Uh, that'd be April. Oh, he's come on for a yearling. Have you seen him? Does he look like King? <laughs> no, I haven't got the foggiest idea. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that um, Reg called me about a week ago. Now, he's selling his place and moving east. He wanted to know if I knew anybody that wanted the colt. For nothing? <laughs> well, I couldn't say about that, Velvet. But Reg sounded as though all he wanted was a good home for that colt. Reg Toller. Tolland. T-O-L-L-A-N-D. Now, he lives about a mile this side of Cornwall on the county road. And don't you tell your pa that I put you up to this. <laughs> We've had enough trouble with him about this critter. All I'm doing is passing on just a little information. Thanks, Mr. Edie. Thanks a million. Yeah.